What's up, everybody? My name is TJ McClellan, broker of Fitness Realty, welcoming you out to the podcast all about Fitness Realty and life in general and lots of things. If you watched the last episode, it was all about things that keep me up at night, which was crazy. They literally do. No, I'm just kidding. I sleep really good sometimes. Anyway, this is going to be episode 85, all about a quote or a motto that I live by. And I want to kind of preface this a little bit. I do have a bunch of quotes that I live by. Some of them have been from friends or family or you know supervisors. The one that I'm sticking with right now is uh, something that I've kind of morphed into to saying it a different way. Um, and mostly because I'm just kind of a word association person and, and I want things to kind of really resonate. So the thing that is on my mirror right now is today is going to be a great day. Literally, if you saw a picture of my mirror in my bathroom, it's got that quote up here. And the piece of paper is kind of junky because it, you know, it's humid in there. There's water, you know, somebody has to clean the mirror and sometimes they spray stuff on it. So the quote and the piece of paper is all kind of trashed. But I still see that quote right now. Today is going to be a great day. And I high five myself every single morning because I read a book called The High Five Habit which was a really fun book to read and uh, or listen to because I never read any books. You guys know, I never have any time to actually sit down and read, but if I'm in the car and I'm able to listen to a book, that's my favorite place to do it. So the high five habit is something where you can high five yourself in the mirror because we all feel good when you get a high five, right? Like if you went out and just high five somebody, everybody feels great. Um, you might do it awkwardly, you know, or you might miss, but Typically, you have a good experience when you when you get a high five. So when I high five myself in the mirror, it's weird because you're actually doing it in the mirror and you know it's yourself, but it still feels good. So that's kind of funky. And I don't know if that's just human brain psyche or whatever. So uh, you people that are smart, comment down below and tell me what you think. Uh, is it like I'm delusional and I shouldn't be feeling that way or I see myself in the mirror and I just feel good about that and high fives feel awesome or whatever. Like, what do you guys think? So the high five habit is really cool, but that quote that I live by right now is today is going to be a great day. The thing that I've kind of morphed it into though, if you guys know me really well, um, if you ask me how I'm doing uh, or how the day is going, I'm gonna say it's marvelous. Um, I love saying marvelous, I don't know why, it just rolls off the tongue really well. It's super fun to say, it's something different, right? Like uh, a lot of people say good, they're fine, whatever. Um, if you say fine, I feel weird about that because if you've watched Italian job, you know fine means freaked out, insecure, neurotic, and E, whatever that one is. I can't remember that one. Um, and so I never use really any of those, but I love marvelous. So I've kind of turned that today is going to be a great day quote into a marvelous day awaits. And the main reason why that I've kind of changed that is because obviously I love the word marvelous, but it's also a little shorter. So I've wanted to like put it on to my email signature because I really want to promote that, right? It is a quote that I'm always talking about um, or people are seeing, or if you see a, if you see me take a selfie, like a fitness selfie, like how I'm doing with my body um, or whatever, and I take it in my bathroom, chances are that quote is up there in the mirror. And so I really, I really do promote that everywhere. So the quote that I'm living by right now, the one that I've morphed is a marvelous day awaits. So if you guys can think to yourselves, when you wake up, if that quote can incite you, right? Get you excited about the day. What does a marvelous day look like for you? What does that entail for you? Are you going to do exciting things? Are you going to do marvelous things? Are you going to do a marvelous work? Are you going to do a marvelous thing for your sweet spouse or your significant other or for your parents? What marvelous thing are you going to take part in or give to somebody else in that day? And that's why a marvelous day awaits really kind of resonates with me. Um, because I love to kind of look outward. What am I going to do outward today? Am I going to help somebody understand a contract? Am I going to teach a certain piece of uh, real estate knowledge to somebody? Am I going to help somebody increase their net worth today? 
Or am I going to do something marvelous that helps somebody else maintain something else that's marvelous for somebody else? There's a chain of events that could happen and they could all be marvelous. Obviously, bad stuff happens, right? During the day, in those times, we all understand bad stuff happens. Uh, in fact, over the last three years, the thing that's always on the news and not so much anymore, but the pandemic and COVID was everywhere. That was a huge thing that happened to everybody on this uh, planet. But during those times, I still thought today is going to be a great day or a marvelous day awaits because there's still things that can be done that are amazing and could be outward and really help somebody else out. So anyway, long story short, I love the word marvelous. And now my quote, a marvelous day awaits just really resonates with me. And if that helps you guys print out a marvelous day awaits, put it up on your mirror and high five yourself. You don't have to read the book if you don't want to. Just just high five yourself and let me know what that feels like. Um, if you have a good experience with that and you think, wow, this really did change how I felt for the day, comment down below so that other people can actually do that as well. And if you had a crappy experience, tell us about that too because I want to know. I want to help other people kind of really get better in life. I really want that self-improvement. And so I really want to help people understand that that marvelous day that awaits for you, you can have that. You can have that after you high five yourself in the mirror. So anyway, print that out, put it on your mirror um, and, and tell me what you think about it. So this has been episode 85, all about the quote that I'm living by, which is a marvelous day awaits. Write that down. All right. My name is TJ McClellan. I'm the broker of Fitness Realty. I love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, helping us with the podcast and helping us grow. I am very grateful for every person that helps us. And by your listening, you really help this podcast go to more people so that hopefully they can have a marvelous day that awaits for them as well. I love you guys. We'll see you.